Hi there, my name is Martina Hem and I'm a food blogger from The Foreign Kitchen. We're here in my home in Vermont and I'm ready to prepare a wonderful meal for you. We're gonna do a tilapia dish that's really easy and simple and perfect if you're racing home from school, if you're coming home with the kids and you need something good to prepare for them. And it's really great because it's good for the kids to eat, they'll love it, you'll love it, and everybody in the family will be happy. So what we got here is, first of all, tropical tilapia from Ecuador. I like to use tropical tilapia from Ecuador because I really think it's the best choice out there. It has a lot of good options and things that just make it the best. And then we have some onions that I've chopped up and put in a little bit of water. And why I'm doing that is because the onions have a little bit of bitterness, they're a little acidic, and you leave them in there for about 10 to maybe 10 to 15 minutes and it really just takes everything out of it and a little bit of salt helps too. And once you got that going, you need a lemon, which we're going to cut nice and thin and put in with the tilapia, a little bit of white wine and some black pepper and some dill and we're gonna put this all together in aluminum. Why are we putting it in aluminum? Well, it's called tilapia en papillot, which is my very, very, very bad French for tilapia in a little package. The best thing about that is it really cooks everything in the package itself, and you just need to put it in the oven. And if you feel like using it outside, if it's good weather, you can put it on the grill, and it's the easiest thing in the world. We're gonna start it off and check how many, we need four. Perfect. We're gonna get ourselves four little packages going. What you do is you grab about half a handful of onions, just a little bit, and you make yourself a nice base. Take a little maple syrup and drizzle it over the onions because we already took a little bit of the sharpness out of them, but this will give it a nice little sweet tinge to it, nice little caramelization. So we got the maple syrup in that. And then you take tilapia filet, beautiful. And the good thing about tilapia is, for the kids for example, I mean, yeah, there's onions, there's wine, there's a little bit of lemon in it, but it really doesn't have too much of a fishy taste, so it's something they'll like too. And it doesn't have any bones in the filet, so you don't need to worry about that at all. And then, Make a little roll. And we're gonna move it up like this. So we have a little pocket. Now, a little bit of white wine. About four tablespoons. And then a bit of black pepper just to season it up a little bit. And a dash of salt. And now what I'm gonna do is grab my cutting board and cut nice, really thin slices for the lemon. You don't want them to be very thick because it will just make it very acidic and overpower the fish. And it's a very delicate fish, so it really has a good sweet flavor in itself. It doesn't need too much flavoring to ruin it. You know, you don't wanna mask the entire flavor. Okay, I got about three slices. You wanna kind of cover the filet, you can take out the um, seeds if you don't want them in the sauce later because the fish and all the ingredients will make a little sauce to go along with the dish. But you can just take the seeds out, no problem there. And then, final touch, last ingredient, we have the dill. It's uh, a light, fresh herb that is great in the summertime. It doesn't really overpower anything, but it has a good flavor that goes along with fish. And the best thing about it, you know, if it's a really casual meal, you can just wrap it up, put it in the oven, leave it there, forget about it for 50 minutes, and then take the whole thing out and put it on the table so people can each unwrap it. It's a perfect thing to do. So let's get that going. If you can put one below the other and give it one big turn that way, give it one big fold and then just fold the tips in. So you make sure that none of the juices flow out because that is the best thing about it. So here we go, we have three more. And basically, like I said, it's so simple, you can just pump them out in no time. Okay, so we have our little packages now 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take them to the oven. Be careful you don't touch the oven. It's preheated to 360 degrees and it's hot. <laughs> and we're going to leave it in there about, I'd say, 10 to 50 minutes, depending on the size of the filet. But it really doesn't take so long because it's in that tiny package and there's a lot of steam coming and cooking it all through. And in the meantime, what we can do is because everything's better with a sauce, is make a little sauce to go along with our dish. Going with the classic flavors that we already have with the tilapia, which is the lemon, white wine, a little bit of onion. A little bit different is the maple syrup. We're, we're still gonna stay classic. And we're gonna go with capers, which pair beautifully with something sour, like sour cream, and mustard. So it's a little tangy and sour. And the capers are very salty and briny. It definitely is a good thing if you have guests over for grown-ups and it really helps, you know, bring a little pizzazz to the fish. Capers are pretty small in themselves. You can buy larger varieties, but they are not as soft. They're not as um, smooth as the small capers. The larger ones are more mature and they're kind of a little crunchy, I'd have to say, and not so many people like them. So if you're gonna do it, stick with the small capers. So what we have in here is uh, the small capers chopped up, a little bit of sour cream, and some mustard. So we're going to put a little bit of lemon in it because, as we said before, the sour cream really goes well with the capers because they're briny and it goes well with the fish because it has the white wine and the dill in it. But a little bit more of the lemon will really help boost the flavor. Mix that up. Very simple. So really, like I said, we only have about maybe five ingredients that we're using in the whole dish. So it's really fast, really cheap, and easy to do. Right about now, these guys should be done. We had them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's take a look. I have my spatula here. It's, be real careful that you don't touch these. They're very hot. And you just put them on a cooling rack and let them sit for a couple seconds until you can manage to open them up with your own fingers. So what we're gonna do in the meantime is a little bit of garnish. What I have here is scallions and chives. Now they're both from the onion family. So the chives are very green, very small, and have a nice herby onion flavor that will really go well with the dish. And then we also have the scallions, which is a very sweeter kind of onion flavor that is not gonna overpower the dish raw. You don't wanna put any raw onions on it. Okay, so we have our tiny bit of garnish here and we also have the sauce that we made before. Now, be careful because there is a lot of steam coming out. Okay, you're gonna wonder how you know when this is ready and it's really easy actually. You have to look at the filet and if it's starting to go apart, at the, uh, I'm gonna say seams, you know, where the different pieces of the meat go. If it's starting to go apart a bit, it is done. Then you can take your spatula and you just go underneath the fish, trying to grab all of the onions you had underneath there. And then just place it up right on the plate. And it's beautiful, look at all that steam. And the sauce, you can just drizzle on over in the end. And that's all natural sauce you got there, just pure flavor from the fish. And then garnish it up a bit with a little bit of chives if you want. So you have a lot of herbs going on in this. And if you also want to, you can put a little bit of the scallions on top. And it's great. So here we go guys, tilapia and papillot. 15 minutes, five ingredients, and great flavor. And if you want the full recipe and more information, you can go to eattilapia.com and you can find everything you need there. And actually, I think this might be the perfect recipe for me and my blog, so if you excuse me, I'll take a picture. Perfect. <laughs>